Hey guys, Monty here. Thanks for watching part two of my seven night adventure out in the wilderness. Weather gets a little wet and crazy, but I still have a great time. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. It's a beautiful morning. Slept in a little bit. <laughs> I am refreshed. The mosquitoes are buzzing. They're they're out now. They weren't really out right when we got here, but they're out now. You just hear him buzzing around. Mont, you ready to go get eaten alive? All right, all right, all right. Be my guest, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Be free, go ahead, Monty. I slept great last night. <sighs> yeah, so I'm, I'm in no rush today. Today is a... Uh, Today's going to be a fishing and exploring day, taking it easy, and we're going to really hunt for a fish dinner. That's what we're going to do. Hey, Monty. <laughs> so, it's time to get up, make some breakfast, and pack up. Get busy and buy some mosquitoes. <sighs> Alright, I'll be out there in a sec, Monty. Let's do this. Birds taking it easy this morning. Coffee and oatmeal. Too. Oh, I need a windscreen. See, Monty, I gave him water. But he's choosing. I sat there and I was like, Monty, drink this. Drink this. Nothing. He wants to drink the pollen water. I don't get it. It's like he feels so independent. Can't drink my water. Right, Monty? But yeah, I'm cooking breakfast out in the sun because the mosquitoes aren't as bad. Go in the shade. <laughs> They'll get you. <laughs> They'll get you. It's a hot one today. Oh yeah. We definitely uh, slept in a bit. It was, like I said, it's Monty's fault. It's always Monty's fault. He's just like, dude, we should sleep more. I'm like, okay, okay. We don't gotta move much today though, so it's okay. Relaxing day. So I'm gonna cook up my oatmeal and coffee and get packed up. You, know, you gotta spice it up. You go to your apples and cinnamon and your cranberry almond. Then back to your apples and cinnamon. Then, oops, back to your cranberry almond. It's called variety. Oh no. That's gonna be soupy. That's okay. It is so warm right now. I am like, I'm sweating, but I'm not moving much at all. I'm going really slow, moping around, getting my stuff together.
I'm thinking I'm gonna be swimming <laughs> throughout the day just to cool off. It's a hot one. I think today's the day that's supposed to be like 85 because it sure feels like it. It is nasty. It is nasty. Monty's choosing to sit in the shade and deal with the mosquitoes there. They're definitely hiding in the shade. They don't really want to be out in the hot sun, which is, it's nice. I think I'm gonna work on my tan today. Catch some fish for dinner. Should be a good day. Might be a little tough fishing. Uh, on this, the lake I'm going to is big and it's breezy, which the breeze is gonna feel nice. Maybe I won't even need to swim if it's cool enough on the water. That ding in that boat. <laughs> Let me show you guys that ding. You can see right here, <laughs> it went down to like the Kevlar material or whatever, <laughs> the bottom of my boat. So that was a nice chunk. Gonna need to epoxy that one. But here's an old one. You can see I've done this before. Uh, that's some epoxy. That epoxy is actually getting grinded down a little bit. So uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, old Bessie. I need to take better care of you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. So uh, I can't do that too much more. Luckily I'm done with the river, but as you can see, I've done it before. But uh, yeah, we're just I'm just gonna finish up my oatmeal, right Monty? Come here Monty. Monty's gonna continue to ignore the fresh water I've given him and his food that I've given him. And then we're gonna get out of here, get on the water. We are mobile. I am so sweaty and hot right now. <laughs> I'm free balling it, ladies and gentlemen. Free balling is the art of not wearing any underwear. I've got all my layers off. I, I would be naked right now, but I don't think you guys would appreciate that. I guess I could cover it up, but if I come across a group of boaters or something, it might be a little awkward. <laughs> but Monty's, I'm just letting him cool off. He felt hot. He wasn't super enthusiastic about swimming right off the bat, but that's okay. We definitely got a late start today. I did not, I don't mind uh, taking a relaxing day. We moved pretty good distance yesterday, so. We don't got far, we don't got far to go today. <laughs> I didn't want to say what time it is. I moped around pretty good. Just kidding, it was Monty. It was Monty's fault. Monty, it's your fault. We moped around. Mr. Monty Phelps. Hey, there's a loon, Monty. You think you can catch a loon? I bet you can swim faster than a loon. You think so? I think so, too. Drip dryer, Monty. Drip dryer. Get some of that water out. This is a good workout, Monty. You still about about 70 pounds? Yeah. So most of this trip is um, uncharted territory for me, and I haven't been there before, but there are some lakes that I've been on that I've got to cross and whatnot. And I think I've actually, I'm pretty sure I've actually been on this one before. I never stayed on it or fished or anything. I just, I just cruised through to get to a different area. But anyways, um, I've never taken this portage to this next lake, but I have been on the next lake. I'll, we'll go over the maps again and I'll show you my last trip and you can see where we're crossing paths and whatnot. But most of this is all new lakes. There's like maybe, maybe three, four, five lakes that I've been on before. Something like that. And I don't know, I've, I'm going over a lot of lakes, so it's really not that much. I think I'm gonna portage in shorts and muck boots. So that's gonna be cool. So you may have noticed that I just did that portage in Crocs. And I've had a few people ask me, 
what's with the Crocs, man? Why Crocs all the time? And I've got one answer for you. Sex appeal, pure and simple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. That's the only reason. <laughs> Get over there. I got a sucker. Hey. Check it out. I got a big old sucker. I've never caught one of those before. <laughs> Jigging. Oh, are we gonna let this guy go? Wasn't really expecting to catch a sucker. <laughs> Was hoping for a, a nice walleye or a bass or a lake trout. <laughs> Shoot. All right, so I'm just gonna take a few casts here, and then you know, there's lake trout and pike in here, it says, and I'm sure there's bass. So, what we're gonna do is probably troll around for a little bit and just kind of check it out, see how bad the wind is, see if we can pick up something that way, look for a campsite a little bit. And then I'll probably switch back and forth between casting a jig and trolling. Ooh, that looks like a nice spot. We're going to try for that. There's got to be a fish in there. Oh, oh, I think we got it. Come on. Oh, what? What? You're kidding me. There we go. Something. What is it? Is it a pike? It's a pike. It's a pike. We're going to stay confident that I'll catch more. There'll be some nice meat, but we'll have better chances. I love when uh, when you catch a fish like that that's totally edible and good, and then you don't catch anything for a while, and you have fish release regret. It's a real thing. So a few people have asked me, well, a bunch of people have asked me down in the comments what these uh, spots are. And the truth is, is that um, I was riding on a four-wheeler and I fell off. My buddy played a prank and he hit the he hit the brakes and I fell off and I grabbed on and I was just dragging behind this four-wheeler and it just ripped up my skin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's terrible. Anyways, it's a it's a genetic skin disorder called psoriasis. And it's not going anywhere. I'm stuck with it for life. I've accepted it. I don't care about it. It's just itchy and doesn't look the best and uh, it actually looks the absolute worst in spring because when you have long sleeves on that are not exposed to the sun it gets worse and um, after a whole winter of wearing long sleeves it's, it's at its worst but as the sun comes out you'll, you'll notice they get lighter sometimes they even go away um, when, the, when you got sunlight on them I don't take any oral medication or anything like that I have a little bit of the steroids they gave me, and that works for a little bit, but for the most part, I just don't care. Just deal with it. Because, you know, whatever. It doesn't bother me.
Monty, do you want to go for to the dog park? Do you want to go for? Do you want to go for? Well, what if I told you that we've been in the dog park for the past two days, and this is the dog park. This is the ultimate dog park. You're chillaxing, Monty. Echo. It's a pretty big rock wall. We'll pass it. A nice steep drop off. That's a good boy, Monty. Looking at the map, there's there's a lot of these corners and stuff until we get out to the main part of the lake, and I'm not gonna troll, you know, for two minutes and then stop and have to reel in my line. So I'm gonna wait till we get out to the lake. I'm going to risk it a little bit and not use a steel eater because I feel like the lake trout aren't gonna like a steel eater. Maybe they won't. They don't care, but yeah, no, no steel eater. You can see over on the right side where it's all super green. That's where there was a fire, and that's the new growth. Super green and lush. I love snacks. Oh. Why? Why? Snag, snag, snag three in a row. Snags three, snags in a row. It's so awesome. I love getting, I love getting snags. Snags are so fun. I just love snags. So happy. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna start with trolling. The good old fashioned chartreuse Rapala. We're gonna let out a whole bunch of line. Now, I don't, it's not the best time of day right now, but we're gonna try anyways. Because we're just gonna move, we gotta find a nice campsite. I want the wind blowing on me. That is for sure. So I might even camp in the, in the burn section because there's a lot less tree blockage that will make bugs less and allow the wind to come in. And I don't mind wind. Even if I have a fire, I'm, I'm going to be careful sitting here. I'm not going to worry about it, but we're just going to troll some drop-off fish areas on the way. We're just going to, you know, troll for a ways. We'll troll for a good half hour, 45, and then if we don't pick anything up, we will go back to casting, find camp, and we're definitely going to evening fish. If I don't have any good luck, you know, I will. I might even portage to another lake nearby and try fishing, one that looks pretty secluded. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I really would like lake trout. That's the, the fish of choice for this evening. I just had a nice bite. If you've, ever, if you've ever farted and blamed it on the dog, give me an oh yeah down in the oh, give me an oh yeah down in the comments. Especially because I think we just picked up a fish. Oh, we got something. We got something. What a magical moment. If you've ever farted and blamed it on your dog and gotten away with it, give me an oh yeah. Been there, done that. I'm hoping we got a lake around here. I'm not gonna ream it in too hard. I'm feeling good about this one. Come on, lake trout. Come on, lake trout. I'm thinking it might be a laker. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lake trout, lake trout, lake trout. It's feeling to me like a laker. They come in like logs sometimes. What's it gonna be? I'm excited. I'm excited, what is it? 
It is. Oh, oh, oh. It's electro. Yes. Justice. We got a lake trout. All right. Monty, we're eating lake trout tonight, buddy. I'm going to get this thing unhooked and stringered up quick. I am not losing this one. <laughs> Larry. This is Larry the lake trout, guys. Hey, meet Larry. I've never introduced you guys to him before because uh, we've had some bad luck, but this is Larry. Meet Larry the lake trout. We'll give Monty a break from the boat if we catch another one here on the way to finding a camp. And then we can we can have an early dinner and uh, enjoy the sunset, maybe do some uh, catch and release evening fishing. And then we can also get up early tomorrow. Tonight is gonna be a fish dinner. I'm gonna catch one more fish, pike or lake trout, and I'm probably just gonna go for lake trout since they seem to be biting. And it's the middle of the day. And then, uh, yeah, we'll catch another lake trout and have two lake trout for dinner. And we're gonna have a little snack with it. It's gonna be good. So let's keep fishing, let's keep paddling, let's keep exploring, this is great. See that, ladies and gentlemen? That is the bite from another fish. Most likely another lake trout. Oh. Ooh, and this one feels heftier. Ooh. Ooh, this one feels much heftier. Ooh, Monty, we might be feasting tonight, boy. I wouldn't mind eating one a little bit bigger. Because when I'm having a fish dinner, I'm going to have a fish dinner. Me and Monty are going to eat some serious fish right now. This one does feel bigger. Uh oh, we're near. We're in bug territory. We're near shore. This one does feel hefty, unless it's hooked funny. Oh, you can just hear the bugs swarming. Oh, oh, oh. Whatever they are, are they black flies. What are they? They don't seem to be biting, but you can hear them buzzing. Ah. Oh man. <laughs> Monty! Ooh, whatever. This one wants to stay down. This one might be too big. This might be way too big to eat. <laughs> We're just getting mauled by bugs now. Yeah, it wants to stay down. That's usually the signs of a bigger fish. It looks like another lake trout. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a good lake trout. Oh. That's a that's a big piece of fish right there. All right, I need to get away from shore. Now oh, that's a nice lake trout. I have a tough choice to make. Look at that thing. Okay, now I don't like to do this. But um, that fish right there is like perfect enough meat for me and Monty both to have a feast tonight. Just that one fish. So I'm only going to keep that one. And you can see that this, this lake trout that I caught before is still perfectly fine and okay. So he's healthy. He's moving. I didn't even go too far, but I'm going to let him go and keep the other one. Now it's not, it's not good to do this to stress it out, but and I mean I would keep both of these, but I don't think I can eat that much fish. So we're just going to gently let this guy go. And he just swam away. He's gone. So he's okay. And we're going to keep this one fish. And this is going to be a feast for me and Monty tonight. We're going to be eating some serious fish. I was hoping to get a nice one like this. This is now, I would, I would normally prefer two smaller ones. But... I mean, I'm, <laughs> I would prefer two smaller ones, but why not just keep one nice one? That's, that's some meat right there. <laughs> Monty, we are feasting tonight. All right. That's exciting. If it was much bigger than that, I wouldn't keep it. I don't like them too big. That's a good fish. My lens is fogging up a little bit. I have to open it up. 
and clean it out later. But anyways, now the trick is to keep him alive while we get to, uh, for the rest of the day. We need to keep him alive because it's so warm out, you don't want him to die and get all nasty. So, I know a lot of people are say, you know, kill him right away. It's more humane, but when you're in these temperatures and you're catching them, you know, I've got four hours till I'm gonna eat dinner. He's gotta stay alive on the stringer and that's just the way it is. That's just how it is. I'm just paddling around looking for a campsite. This one looked good on the map, but when I got here, I couldn't really tell what side of this little peninsula is on. Now it looks like it's going to be blocked from the wind. All right, so it looks okay on the site. Um, we're going to get out, stretch our legs, eat a snack, check out the site. But we've got we've got plenty of time, so. Unless it's really great, I'm going to look at other sp spots because I, I would like to be in some wind. It's just so hot. Hey, Monty. Hi. Well, it's not a bad spot. It's not terrible. Um, it's a little bit out of the wind, though. It's, uh, if the breeze was blowing up here, this would be great. But the wind seems to be blowing from, I don't know, it seemed like it was blowing from this way. But then when I got over that side, it, it didn't seem very like it was blown. But now it seems like it's come from this way. I'm not really sure. But we'll look at our map. Maybe we'll stay here, maybe we won't. I'm going to throw the stick for Monty, though. He's going to do a little swimming because he's he's got to be warm. And we're going to have a snack. Get him, Monty. <laughs> what a drama queen. Stop it, ready? Phelps at work. Oh, it is just gorgeous out. I'm I'm very happy to not be doing much portaging today. It would have been a nightmare today. It is just hot and sunny and just not super windy. Tomorrow I've got some decent portaging, but I'm hoping it's supposed to drop by like 10 degrees, 10, 15 degrees and be in like the low 70s, like 70, 71 for the rest of the time here. That's when, the, when I looked at the weather last, that's what it showed. But you never know. Weather can change. But I'm hoping so. I'm hoping it's not this hot because this is nasty. I mean, it's nice when you're just sitting around on the boat and stuff, but I'm going to need to put on some sunscreen soon. <laughs> I might be cooking a little bit. But I'm just going to keep throwing the stick for him, eat a snack, and then offer him some food. And then we're going to pull out the map, and I'm going to check things out, see if we want to stay here. This is a rarity right here. I told Monty to eat his food, and he's doing it. He was just ignoring that it exists for a minute. And I was like, Monty, you eat your food. And he went up and he started eating it. That's happened maybe once or twice before. Wow, just amazing. Monty eating his dog food. Hmm. Okay. Looks like there actually might be a site across the way there got the sun beating on it but it is looks like the wind will be blowing at it which will be nice I kind of want a windy sight tonight so we're gonna check that out that feels nice I'm thinking it looks like it's right ahead I'm I'm stinking that this is gonna be one Well, this doesn't seem to be the campsite. I thought it was gonna be right here on the peninsula, but it's not. And it looks like rain's coming. So we're gonna, I think it's inland here more. We're gonna check it out. I think I might need to set some stuff up and just prepare for a little rain. 
This one's even less out of the wind than the last one. It's a pretty spot. It's a pretty cool spot. But I do not know. If it looks like it's gonna start downpouring on us, I might just set up and stay here. But if not, I definitely wanna go find a spot in the wind. It's tough though. Neither spot was really that great for the wind. I want that breeze. I just really want that breeze. Maybe just stay here because I can come sit right here with my chair and just enjoy the breeze. And then when I have a fire, it'll be blocked. Okay, I'll look at my map again, but that's what we might do. I might just come enjoy the breeze right here, set up and stuff. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay, so we are gonna stay at this one. It does look like it might rain a little bit and let's go chill in the wind when I wanna sit there. And um, at least it's got that spot, but it's got a nice view for later tonight. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna leave this stuff here. But yeah, I'm just gonna set up and stuff. Prepare for that rain, then I'm just gonna relax in the wind. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm a little beat. And I have done like 1 16th the work of yesterday, but I think it's just that sun. It's just been beating down on me. It's my undies. The sun can take it out of you. That's what I'm feeling right now. Just slightly drained. Hey Monty, you want some of my stuff? That's the easy way. Okay, got tons of sun. I probably should have put on sunscreen, but whatever. It's too late now. <laughs> Probably should have put on some sunscreen. But I figured, hey, Monty can't have sunscreen, so why should I get sunscreen? Right, Monty? Correct way. What's the fastest way to make Monty upset? Point something at him. Oh, just don't do that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, I stop. I sorry. I'm sorry, Monty. You can't do anything to upset the Monty. Don't point things at him. You know, just leave him be. Don't try to excite him. Let him be a grumpy old man. Monty. Oh, I didn't even point it at you. I didn't point it at you. Monty, I was just... Monty. I didn't even point it at you, you stinker. You stinky butt boy. Check it out, I got a leech on my foot. Monty, what are you doing? Why are you hiding in the bushes? When it's hot like this, I leave one side of the rain fly attached and I just flip it over so if it does start raining, I can just throw it over the tent and get it all set up really quick. But other than that, it stays off. Just like last night, I didn't need it all night and pretty much I, uh, I go all night until I feel a raindrop or hear thunder before I throw it back over. Okay, so this is the entire boundary waters. All that green. I'm just gonna show you what I did on my 10 day solo trip with Monty and what I'm doing this time. So, last time on my 10 day solo, I started here Moved down this way to Tuscarora, over this way, Portage through here, all the way through here, down this way, this way. Then we went down to here, 
and then here's where I bushwhacked that portage and then moved my way this way went all the way down the Luce River the Laos River Luce River and then got to Malberg and then we went up this way down the Kawishi all the way down here and I ended up paddling across this whole Alice Lake and uh, stayed up here somewhere and then we went down here over to Lake Insula, paddled around here, came up this way to Thomas Lake, up through here, all these lakes, back to uh, Little Sag, where, is, where I'm at now, but then I just paddled up this way, over to this lake, went through all these lakes, fishing for Larry, and then uh, went up through here, and home. This time, that was 10 days. So this time we started over here on Brule Lake. I started down here. So what we're trying to do this time is go this way, paddle all the way down here. Then I portaged up through here, stayed here the first night. Then yesterday we went all the way down this, all the way up to here, and we stayed here last night. Today we just did this little hop, skip, and a jump to here. So really relaxing day easy. But the fun continues tomorrow because we're gonna come back down this way. And we're going to go down here. We're actually going to stay in Malberg tomorrow night. And then what I'm trying to do is go down this way. Down here. And then I think we're going to stay in this lake. Uh, the next night after that. And then go up through here. And then this is where I don't really know what I want to do. I'm thinking I'm going to paddle this way. And then I'm thinking of maybe going down this way. Going all up through here. Doing this little loop. And then I'll come out right here on this big lake. So it's like, or, you know, I could come up this way and go back to where I was already. But I'm thinking I want to kind of go this way. So, covering lots of ground, you know. It's, uh, it's I've got some work days ahead of me. Tomorrow's going to be a pretty good one. But the last few are going to be, the last three nights, we're going to be going from here to here, you know. So... I've got decisions to make. We're gonna still. I'm gonna look at these maps probably 20 more times over the course of the next couple days. But right now, that's where we're at. We're we're getting the heart. But that's why I'm trying to stay. You know, this is like the center of the biggest part of the boundary water. So I'm trying to stay here. So you know, one night, two night, and uh, another night. And that's right in the center. So that's that's my planning process. Do you fall asleep there? Dog bark. Treats. Go for dog park. But I think right now I'm gonna go get some firewood. There's already some there, but I'm gonna collect a little bit more. So I'm gonna get some firewood, sit around a little bit more, and then come eight o'clock, we will spark up a fire and cook up some Larry gonna be good Monty. It's gonna be delicious. the best thing to do in Crocs. <sighs> so I don't know if I'm going to process all this, but I think what I'm going to do is process enough of this to where I'm sweaty. Well, I'm already sweaty, but to where I'm continuing to be sweaty and then I'm going to go for a swim and then that'll be about time to start cooking dinner. That's not so bad. Yeah, and I, I don't even need this firewood to be honest. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I got time and uh, I'm gonna burn a little of that firewood there so I might as well replenish it and leave it for the next guy. That's pretty much what I'm doing because there's, there's enough wood there to cook fish.
pretty punky. Good boy, stay there. Stay there, Monty. Stay. Good boy. Oh, I feel so good, Monty. I mean, you can come in if you really want to. Oh, there's nothing better than being out in the wilderness and skinny dipping. Oh. Right, Monty? You skinny dip all the time. Right? Just look at that view, Monty. Nothing but woods. Okay, Monty, I'm coming out. Okay. Monty. Oh, this is a good boy. Oh, Monty. Oh, this is a good boy. She's such a weirdo. Oh, that felt so good. I am going to now fillet up Larry, spark up a fire, and enjoy my pretty much, I'm pretty sure, my first ever fish dinner during sunlight. <laughs> I know that's crazy and maybe hard to believe, but it's true. I always eat at night, so I'm excited. Look at that beautiful, delicious meat. Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Monty, we are gonna feast. So when I'm flaying fish and stuff, your hands get obviously a little fishy. Um, lake trout especially, it makes it, your hands stink. So I just take some cedar and I like to rub my hands because I'd rather them smell like cedar than fish slime. It covers it right up so that when you touch your other stuff, it doesn't start to smell like fish. It just smells like cedar. Ah, oh, yeah. It smells much better. Get out the old lighter. Another little trick, if you don't already know this, which I'm sure many of you do, but if you use lighters, wrap them in duct tape. Not D-U-C-K tape, duct tape. That shit, that shit is crap. <laughs> but duct tape, good stuff. Um, I didn't know, Jake actually showed me this <laughs> on a two week adventure. I, uh, he was just like, oh, we should, you should wrap your layers in duct tape. I'm like, oh, I don't need to do that. No big deal. I snapped the rod about five, six days into the trip. And I'm just like, Jake, can I have some of your duct tape? <laughs> and he gave it to me and I was able to fish perfectly fine with my rod. It's, it saved me from per fish. And so now I do it every time. But it's a good little tip. I always wrap a good amount of there. And if I put a hole in my boat like you've seen, I can definitely use this to patch that up. Oh, it's hot. I don't like it, but it is it is what it is. Oh, I'm not going to be able to sit near it. Mm. So, we're going to cook up our fish. And I like to, one of the simplest things that's pretty delicious to have a fish dinner with, I think, is instant mashed potatoes. I, it's just... It's filling, it's good, it's a nice side. It's easy, it's already dehydrated. Or you could do like couscous or something, but rice is a little time consuming, I think, unless it's like some kind of really cheap rice, but I just always do instant mashed potatoes. That's just what I like. Choose your side. Mine is baby reds. What we're gonna cook up first is these, uh, these potatoes here, they can sit for quite a while. So I'm gonna cook these up, two cups of water, which is to 16. We're gonna cook this up and then we're gonna cook up Monty's 
actually first because his always has to cool down and these can sit forever so I can have a hot meal all together. Oop, that thing came out. So we're just gonna boil the Monty's again because he seemed to like that and it makes it with his food good. I've got to portion out the fish. He's getting less than me. He, if he eats the same amount of fish as I do, he will get liquid diarrhea. But I ain't dealing with that. I'm gonna have to cut this up into bits anyways, but. That can be a Monty chunk. All right, that's, that's more than fair for the Monty. I'm gonna have to cut up mine anyways, though. Because my pan's not gonna be big enough for all this. And Monty can get, we'll give Monty a, a little extra. But this is all gonna be mine. I'm gonna eat his tail. He doesn't know the difference. I'm gonna feast right now. And Monty's gonna pretty much, he's gonna feast too. Don't let him fool you. That's plenty of fish for a dog. Whoops. This is boiling. Mm. Mm. That can just go off to the side now and wait for my fish to be ready. For Monty's fish, all it needs to be is cooked and mushed up. Cause his is gonna get mixed with his dog food. And he's gonna have a big old smorgasbord of fish. And he's gonna love it. Now part of me feels bad for this because he already wants to eat his food. But then the other, get back. The other part of me knows that he will appreciate it way more with fish. But you're gonna have to wait to eat for about 15 minutes, Monty. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Because all that water is going to soak and we need to let it cool down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of fish for a dog. <laughs> Might be too much, but he's going to love it. All right, Monty, now you got to wait. Okay, now I've got to prepare my fish. I am going to... See, I dropped Monty's right into the boiling water, but with mine, I want to heat it up a little slower. So I'm gonna put a bunch of lemon juice in the pan. We're gonna make it really lemony. I love lemon. Now we're gonna get out all the seeds. Now that the seeds are out, I'm gonna add my fish to the pan as best I can. Oh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bit full pot here. But now I need to add a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water, not too much, but some of the moisture is gonna boil out as it cooks. 
So, got to add a little water in there. Almost about pretty much equal amounts of water and lemon. Add a little more juice if I got any. Now, a little bit of Montreal. And it doesn't matter if it's directly on the fish or not because it's all gonna make a flavor. Decent amount of Montreal, that's a good amount. All right, now we put it on the fire. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, that is gonna be a lemony, Montreal-y, juicy. Oh, I'm excited. It is so peaceful out. I don't think I'm gonna get to do any night fishing, but I just saw a lake trout surface and I'm pretty sure it was a lake trout because it surfaced like a trout, but I don't think there's anything other than lake trout in here for trout, but I could be wrong. But it was definitely, pretty sure it was a trout that surfaced and it was right there. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. We're gonna add a smidge more Montreal. Alright, we're gonna need to break up these pieces a little bit. I was gonna try to make it super pretty, but I just want it to all cook in the juices evenly. There we go. Oh yeah, it's done. Okay. Okay. You ready, Monty? Go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. Oh, I'm excited for this. Here goes nothing. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so lemony and delicious. It's also very hot. Mm. I'm going to destroy this. Mm. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. <sighs> Needs to cool off. Let's have some taters. Mm. All right, well, this fire's really hot, so I'm gonna sit down right there. Hey, Monty. Much better. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, man. When I'm done eating, I get to go watch the sunset. That's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be a good one. We should have a good view. I've almost ate it all already. Oh man. 
when I'm done eating all this, I'm going to be so full. Mm. All right. I'm going to clean up or I'm going to I'm going to finish eating all this. Do a little cleanup and then we're going to watch a sunset. Right, Monty? Got to finish dinner and then sunset time. Well, clean up first. That's a beautiful sunset. It's not the most epic I've ever seen, but it's still very pretty. Best one of the trip so far. And it is setting right now. That was a delicious meal, I'm so full. That was too much food. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna get back to camp and uh, it's just, we, you have to walk down here a ways to get over to this little spot, but we are gonna get back to camp, clean up, and probably start relaxing. I'm gonna I'm gonna head a bit early tonight, I think. But that was a beautiful sunset. Goodbye, son. Goodbye for the day. See you tomorrow. Monty, that is inappropriate behavior. You stop that right now. That is my That's my sleeping liner, Monty. What are you doing? Monty. Okay, well, we just got into the tent after cleaning up and it just started to rain, so I put the rain fly over. Um, so it's gonna be, I was hoping since it's so warm tonight that we could have the rain fly off so that we're not just sweltering in here, but it's looking like it's gonna be a sweltering evening. Joyous day. <laughs> so Monty has passed out and he's warm. I can tell he's warm, but uh, just by how he's breathing, but he, I've, I've slid him around and stuff. He is just done. He's out, kaput, tired. I'm full, satisfied. The sun's, it's, it's dark out. This is probably the earliest I've gone to bed camping in a long time that wasn't winter camping, any sort of canoe camping. So I'm just going to lay around, read a book, look over my maps, the usual thing until I get tired and pass out. So I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Monty's snoring is keeping me awake. How's that even comfortable? Monty, I can't sleep. <laughs> Buenos dias. Ooh. There was a muggy one last night. Oh, muggy. Right, Monty was a muggy night last night, huh? Monty's ready to get up and get out. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's do it. Man, whatever bird that is, it's going. <whistles> Made me want to sleep all day. So peaceful. But I'm going to get whipping up some oatmeal and coffee as I pack up. We've got to cover some ground today. That's the one. 
as always, Monty enjoys spending his mornings watching the world go by. Right, Monty? That's a good boy. Just, en just enjoying my morning bowl of hollow notes. You're a rich girl and you've gone too far because you know it don't matter anyway. It's actually just regular oats. I hope I got that stuck in your head. It's going to be stuck in my head probably the rest of the day. So, I think we've got 11 portages today roughly there's a few teeny ones and then I don't know like three or four quarter mile ones or a little more than a quarter mile and then some that are smaller than that nothing crazy but there is one unfortunate thing and that's that I was stupid yesterday and didn't put on any sunscreen so I've got some sore toasty shoulders and that's gonna feel really good with a 60 70 pound pack on your back yeah. Real smart. Real good thinking. Yeah. Just pure genius. I'm just going to finish up my breakfast. I'm pretty much packed up. I just got to clean up this stuff. And we're going to get on the water. So let's do it. There's a little stuffed animal. Whew. Okay, we're moving. Let's get in that breeze a little bit. Which way do we got to go? We have to go that way. Okay, another warm one today. I don't know when that 70 degree uh, thing is coming, but I can't wait. So trial run of the uh, sunburn portaging with the bag because I had to come from my campsite, which is up there, down to here, I had to carry it. It's not terrible. It doesn't feel the best, but I'll be all right. Definitely makes it a bit more uncomfortable, but it's not the end of the world. But I put on some sunscreen on my nose, my neck. I might put a little bit I'm going to have to keep replying it to those spots because my neck is sensitive, my shoulders are sensitive, so no matter what today, I can't really take off my shirt unless I'm swimming. But we don't got too much more to paddle on this lake. We definitely covered a good chunk of it yesterday. And then we get the portaging begins. Monty knows that if he puts his head down and lays down like that, I'm pretty sure he knows that he can be out of the sun, so he's chilling in the sun. I don't know if I should put sunscreen on his nose or not. Because I know he's a weirdo and he likes lotion and he'll lick it. He'll lick it clean, but if I rub it in, which he might not like, I just don't know if I should do that or not. That's the only spot on him that I could see getting maybe sunburn. I don't know if they can. I'm sure they can. I mean, it's like skin. But I don't know if I should. It looks like I'm going to be paddling with the wind the entire day. Now... Some may call that a blessing. I would much rather be paddling into the wind. I would much rather get that breeze cooling me off than, and have to do more work than to just uh, bake. <laughs> oh, shit. Just knows the drill. boy. So I did it, guys. I put sunscreen on the Monty's nose. He didn't really like it, but the sun is so hot right now. I'm gonna have to apply sunscreen every few portages to the back of my neck. 
and you know the rest of his the fur actually protects his skin from getting burnt so you think some of you are thinking you know well that dog's got too much fur to be sitting in the sun well it actually protects him and I'm, I'm gonna have him swim after the next portage a little bit and I've just been doing that to cool him off and then I'm gonna sunscreen his nose up because I don't want that thing burning but another little portage to go and we're on the next map, it looks like. Ooh, Monty, you're getting frisky. Getting frisky. Frisky. Moose tracks. Look at that. Must have came through this morning or something. Come on, big dog. Good boy, Monty. It's a hot one. Right now, I'm jealous of him. I gotta move pretty far today, though, so uh, I can't take too much time and swim. Unless I get way ahead. I might do that. I might get way ahead of schedule here. And then I can stop and swim. But for now, I've just gotta move and groove. Move and groove. Oh, come here, pal. No Monty swimming session is complete without the drip dry. Yeah, Monty, get a drip dry. There you go. Wah. Oh, give me that breeze. Come on, just pick up another 15 miles an hour. Now, if it was that windy, then it wouldn't matter if I was going with the wind or not. It would still blow me and feel good. Does that sound, that sound wrong? It was still blowing. Mm. Maybe I just have a dirty mind. <laughs> that must be it. Hello, Mr. Loon or Mrs. Loon. Goodbye, Mr. or Mrs. Loon. Man, that Larry last night was so juicy, so lemony, so tasty. I just... <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time not keeping a fish every night and cooking it up like that, even if it's just Montreal and water, like, it's still so good. Mmm. I was so full last night. That was too much fish. That was, that was a little too much. I sh what I should have done is probably kept another small one. It would have been less meat, but I was, I was not feeling, you know, I was a little uncomfortable after that. Monty, can you sit down, please? Sit. Good boy. Okay. Woo. Yeah, I don't know if there's sunscreen all over my face, but I had to put more on. This heat is brutal. The sun is hot. It's a rough one, and there's no wind to slow it down either. Monty's hiding in the shade, so he's got to keep swimming. And he doesn't mind. He's, he's getting right in the water. He's not complaining or anything, so I know he's hot. I want to swim right now. And I would uh, unzip to shorts, but I've already got enough sun on my legs, and... Um, it's annoying to just to put those zippies back on, so I'm just gonna keep them on for now. Taking them on and off. Just gonna leave them on. What I'm thinking is I might possibly, um, instead of fishing, just kind of get to the portage here, do the next three, and then take a break in the shade because it is hot and it is noon right now. Let's see if we can get Monty in without getting out. He's never done this on his own. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come on. 
Come on. Let's go. Monty, let's go. Come here. Come on, Monty. Right here. Come here. Come on, Monty. Let's go. Come on. Monty, come on. Come here. Come here, Monty. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Nice. He did it. <laughs> That's his first time doing that. He didn't get his drip drying, but he jumped in the boat. Hey, that's convenient, Monty. Maybe we'll do that more often. What do you think? Do we just do we just discover a new thing? He's uh he's constantly learning. You know, he's he's still uh he's just two years old, so he's still somewhat of a puppy, and he's still developing new habits, uh like biting flies, for example. He did not do that last summer or the year before that or whatever. He just started doing that this trip. I've never seen him bite at flies, and he's really really fond of going after the bees most of the f he only bites the mosquitoes when they're just getting them but uh, <laughs> the bees as soon as he hears a bee he's just like where's that bee and he's trying to he's hunting it but like that all right there now he's gonna jump he's already, he's he never used to jump out of the boat either and he's been doing that a lot he's been jumping out but now he's jumping in that's good that was cool now I don't need to get out, I can keep my muck boots off. If I want him to swim, maybe I can just teach him to jump out. Yeah, he's learning new things. That's cool, Monty. Good job. Proud of you. Yeah, so I said I probably wasn't gonna cast, I was gonna trade it for uh, sit in the shade. Well, that's until I saw this nice section of about four or five nice dead trees. And then that got my, my sensors tingling. No, 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 son of a bee sting. I wanted to get right there. That's where I wanted to get. Let's see if we can, oh, the breeze, oh, the breeze. Okay, so I've got, after this lake, I've got three, three portages in a row. I, I, I was a little wrong when I looked at the map. I think I only got one, one portage that's over a quarter mile. The rest are under a quarter mile. So it's nothing crazy, but I've got three in a row. And they're just little muck ponds in between. So I'm going to hydrate on this lake. Because it's nice, cool, crisp water. Then I'm going to bust those out. There's a, uh, a big rock wall over there, and it looks very, very similar to another rock wall that's, that's in this area that has Native American pictographs on it. So I'm just going to go check it out because I'm so close, and it looks very similar, just in case there's something cool. If not, if anything, we're just going to see a big rock wall. No pictographs that I could see, but that was me just zipping by. Oh, do I see moose? See so from across the lake that look kind of like moose, but I think it's just root masses. There's just two dark blobs kind of sitting there, but yeah, it's just roots. <laughs> Had my hopes up for a second. I didn't really think I'd see moose in the middle of the day in this heat, standing out in the sun. You know, I was just hopeful because I missed that one time. Remember that one time when two baby moose swam in front of me with their mom and it'll probably never happen again in my life? No big deal though. You know, just to uh, not capture it and share it with you guys, but it still stings. <laughs> uh. Swim. 
I'm starting to get a little hungry. A little hangry. <sighs> Next one's the longest one of the day. Just over a quarter mile. Nothing crazy. Just more sweaty. Come on, clouds. A little rain wouldn't hurt either. Poop. Some kind of little minnow that's just like popping out of the water as they go by. Whoo! But let me tell you. Whoa, oh, oh, Monty. Alright, good boy. Let me tell you. Portaging in the hottest part of the day on an 80 plus degree day with barely any wind and direct sunlight is warm. I'm so sticky right now. Swimming is going to be so awesome later. So, I must have went down an old portage trail because it was so thick. Oh man, that was rough. Um, and then I got to, I got done with it, and you know I'm carrying that eight foot ultralight. Oh my god, it was just terrible. And then I got done with it. Yeah, and I saw that there was a a different path. Oh look, we're lighting up where I can paddle with this. With the stick, I'm paddling with the stick. Anyways. And then I walked out, this was much easier, much more reasonable. So I just, I had to go through this marshy crap here to our left. And I was not gonna go through that thick shit with my boat. So I just grabbed this here stick. And now I'm making my way to the portage. But that was rough. That was rough. Not fun with that pole. warm there's no shade there at that spot so we are going to go out a little bit and pick a nice spot along the shore where there's some shade oh now normally this is strictly for Monty but perfect opportunity for it. I see we're going to need to entice him with beef jerky. Treat, Monty? You want a treat? Yeah. Over here, Monty. Right here. Come here. Mmm. Mmm. You know. Realistically, this is the worst tasting beef jerky I've ever had. But. Mmm. Super delicious stuff. Mosquitoes are getting me and I don't even care. I decided I'm not going to swim. He decided he's still hungry. <laughs> he thought he was going to get something. Just going to sit here and get eaten up by mosquitoes for like another 5-10 minutes. Snack, rehydrate, let him to get some water and then we're going to get back to it. That one was longer than expected and really mucky. 
but I think what happened is that actually the next two were actually just one. It showed that there was a... Monty, you gotta sit down. Yeah, or you can drink water. It's fine too. But it showed that there was two portages and a little pond in between, but I think it just skipped that pond and we went right around and did both of those in one and walked past the pond. Which is nice. I'll take that. That means one less portage to go. You got a lily pad, pad challenge section. Hoo -ee. Monty was feeling really hot. He needed to get in that water. Almost too hot to touch. Oh, so close to swimming. I don't know if I can even wait to get to my campsite to swim. I might just swim right when we get to the lake and just paddle wet. I'm undecided on that yet, but it seems really tempting. <laughs> oh, Monty Phelps, hard at work. Just swimming across another lake like it ain't no thing. <laughs> He's shedding that extra winter weight he gained <laughs> from all that delicious eating. <laughs> Oh, Monty, Monty, Monty. I'm jealous. I'm totally jealous of you. laying down. He wants to be out of the sun as much as I do. Oh, we're gonna have plenty of time to relax tonight. I think the plan is to go to bed pretty early tonight because I want to avoid portaging in this heat again. This is a poor decision making on my end. <laughs> I should have got up before the sun rose and uh, Done all this portaging, we would have done it out of the heat. But I definitely, the plan for tomorrow is to get up very early and get the portaging done. And then either when it gets to this part of the day, we're gonna just chill, relax somewhere, or be where we're going for the night. But I can tell you what, I am set on. <laughs> portaging in this nasty heat in the middle part of the day when there's not much wind. Like, look at this. There's like no breeze, it's barely moving. <sighs> it is hot though. And we've got one more portage to do. So let's just get it done. Beavers are gonna take down that tree. Oh, 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 oh,
You got a mosquito on your nose. Does that feel good? <laughs> Monty, doesn't it feel nice? <laughs> oh, I'm just so happy to be in the water right now. <sighs> I could just live here. This looks like a nice campsite. It's right here in the water. Hey, Monty. Ooh, there's cold water from the river current. Oh, that feels really good. <laughs> oh, Monty. Yeah, Monty, I'm cleaning my clothes and my body at the same time. I gotta layer myself up in sunscreen as soon as I dry. Monty's like, Dad, I don't wanna go on the boat anymore. It's too hot. Feels good. I'm all sun. I'm all sunscreened up, refreshed. My sweat has been cleansed. I'm sure I'll start sweating here soon again, but I feel good for the moment. I needed that swim. That was so necessary. So yeah, I think we're gonna go for a campsite out in the shade. Now that. We're going to look at a few, but above everything else, I think a campsite in the shade is most important because I don't want to make Monty sit in this heat anymore and I don't want to sit in it either, so we need a shaded spot. I, I'm not really that worried about wind as much. Wind would be nice to relieve us, but the sun is the killer right now. That's the, that's the thing we need to worry about. I can't even tell you how many of these little 16 ounce, 16 ounce pouches I've drank today. It's been a lot. Monty thinks it's beef jerky every time, almost. But I've sucked down a lot of water today. Drink it in through my mouth, sweat it out through my face. It looks like there's a campsite up ahead and it looks kind of shaded. And the wind is blowing at it, so that might be a winner, and we don't have to go very far at all. But I will take it. I'm not going to be picky. I just want a nice spot. Well, this spot is relatively shaded. I mean, I can set up the tent over there, and it's a little bit shaded. It looks pretty nice. And the sun's going to set this way, so these trees will be blocking, so I think this is going to be the spot. The only problem is, is that um, so whoever was here last left a bunch of crap on there, and Monty instantly walked up here and started licking that grate, so I hope he doesn't get the shits. They should have burned it off, whatever it was. Oh, who doggy. I'm a wee bit drained, guys. That sun. Sun will get ya. So I'm just gonna set up my tent here. It's uh, 5.40 right now, or 4.40 in central time. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get a little set up, look over my maps, relax around. But the first thing I want to do is drink some water. I can drink with my little thing, but I want to chug water. So I'm gonna get that going so I can just slug some water here because I'm thirsty. I've been thirsty all day. I've been drinking water all day. It's an unquenchable thirst right now. So let's quench it. Oh. So I'm probably gonna have a pretty early dinner tonight. I'm gonna try for the earliest dinner I've ever had. Yesterday was the earliest dinner. Uh, maybe not the earliest actually, but like, as far as the sunlight and the time of year, yes, earliest. But winter camping, obviously, it's much earlier because 
sun sets like four hours earlier. I'm going to try to have a super early dinner tonight. Probably going to do some fishing, but I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to fish, you know, till dark. I'm just going to fish a little bit and then uh, go to bed really early and get up tomorrow. So I am just going to set up my stuff get all sorted, look over my maps, and relax until we go fishing. Monty is passed out. Look at this guy. Are they getting you, Monty? I'm sorry. What do you think about that, Monty? Is there a tent on your head? <laughs> I'm sorry, Monty. What I'm going to try for my last dinner is a walleye dinner. So tomorrow, I'm going to stick to a lake that I know has got walleye in it, according to the little little map here. And then also the night after that, and the night after that, I'm also going to, well, the next, the next two nights after tonight, actually this night too, we're all, they're all going to have walleye, but I'm not going to go for a fish dinner tonight. I'm just going to fish for fun. So I'm not going to go crazy, but I want a walleye fish dinner. I had my lake trout, I had some pike, no bass, very odd. It's weird that I haven't caught bass, I keep saying that, but it's really weird to me. Because I destroy bass with that little jig, wherever I go. So I don't know, weird, 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 weird. Oh well, I'm never going to stop using that little jig. I'm going to try it for walleye tonight too, but uh, when the sun starts getting low, um, if I don't catch anything, if I'm just catching pike after pike, I'm going to switch to trolling. I have a walleye slayer lure. It's a chartreuse floater rapala. It's kind of like that tiger stripe one I used, but uh, that's the walleye slayer. That thing, I will get them. But anyways, it is 7 o'clock. Probably going to start cooking here in a half hour, 45 minutes. Maybe a little, maybe a little sooner. I'm pretty hungry. So we're gonna cook, eat, and then we're gonna get on that water and do a little fishing. Oh, I'm getting too hungry. I can't wait anymore. I am gonna cook up my spaghetti now.
bit of stir here. gonna be good. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is so good right now. I was pretty hungry today. Mm. I got some sap in my elbow, or my forearm, sticking. Nothing like a hot meal on a hot evening. <laughs> Oh, the sap is driving me nuts. I gotta, I gotta wash my arm a little bit. Those, those biting flies that I said were the only ones that get to me, are getting to me. They are, uh, hi Monty. They are getting my ankles, little ankle biters. Drives me nuts. I can hear them flying around my hair. I can't wait for the sun to go down and to cool off. Oh, it's gonna be nice. The mosquitoes are gonna be out. They've been out pretty much, not the first night as much, but the last two nights, they've been out. As soon as the sun sets, they're they're attacking. So it's nice to be able to uh, crawl into the tent when that happens and go to bed. Did you want something, Monty? Hmm? Did you want something? You're not trying to steal my spaghetti, are you? you? Got bugs in your ears? You can't have my spaghetti. Okay, I'm just gonna finish off my spaghetti here, and then we're gonna get in the boat and do a little fishing. All right. Let's just block the sun by these with these trees a little bit. And do some casting. We're just gonna work this like channel here, and oh, that feels so much better just instantly. We're gonna work this channel here, and then uh, troll our way back probably, and that should be about an hour, and the sun will be setting. And then we're just gonna watch the sunset, crawl into the tent, go to bed early. Wind is turning me. My legs are so itchy right now from all the bug bites I've been getting. Just mosquitoes and black flies and uh, whatever those biting things are that I cannot stand. Those things made my legs really itchy. Those little jerks with their ankle biting nastiness. They always get my ankles. Always. Come on, walleye. It's evening enough on this side. Come on. Now, if I was troll, if I was fishing for dinner, I'd probably be trolling the whole time for those walleye. Just because I know that's a surefire way for me to catch them. This works too, but usually it's, it's more right when the sun sets. 
and into the dark you can cast these jigs and they will those wall I can see at night something was nibbling on it I'm just, I'm just curious now. Oh, that's an instant snag. <sighs> I finally just got my first little chill since I've been out here. <laughs> that's a relief. Oh, I don't care. I'll be cold for like a half hour. Not a big deal. That will not bother me. It felt good. That was a relief definite relief that meal I ate today was actually see I brought out seven spaghetti meals and two fish dinner meals so that even if I didn't catch any fish I would have a spaghetti for every dinner and one of those meals was uh, extra large and since I already got one fish dinner I have you know potentially an extra meal so I ate the big one today and I could still eat so much more spaghetti. I had an appetite tonight. I don't know why my appetite was so big tonight, but <laughs> I could still eat. I'm still, like, mildly hungry. I'm going to have to eat a little candy in a snack bar when I get back. And then tomorrow, we break open a new bag of beef jerky for Monty. I don't need to wear my shades right now in the shade. Come on, Matthew, what am I doing? What am I doing wearing my shades in the shade? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, this is a long, skinny channel I'm fishing right now. And I know if I were to troll, which I'm gonna do in probably 15 minutes, I'd catch a walleye. I catch something at least. Because this, I know when that sun sets in like a half hour, 45, they're going to be patrolling this channel. I just know it. I know it in my bones. I could feel it. I just don't know if they're quite in patrol mode yet. Because the sun, it's still bright in the sky. But it's shaded here, so they should be, they should be active. I think it's safe to say that Monty is officially tired. <laughs> he is just out, out like a dead trout. All right, we're just gonna, it's, it's just so enjoyable right now just being out in the water. I'm, ha I'm just like, I'm loving this right now. There's no heat, you know, the bugs aren't getting us. This is just relaxing, so I'm just going to switch to trolling, and I'm just going to paddle, enjoy it, and we'll see if we pick up a fish. We should be able to, but I'm going to troll. Oh, partridge drum. Well, that's unfortunate. This is my walleye slayer lure, and uh, I didn't notice that the, the bill got ripped off. <laughs> Oh no. Well, I got the I've got the the longer version right here. I prefer the shorter one, but this one should do fine. Might even pick up bigger walleye. And I've also caught a lot of walleye on the same thing I was using for lake trout. The I now for Rapala's it's pretty much all I use is this, this in blue and silver and the longer ones. And that's pretty much all I use for that and you got spinners in there and you got those jigs and that's 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 my uh that's my arsenal of lures let's pick up a walleye but he's such a good boy monty was getting that that feeling that i was getting earlier where like you still think the bugs are getting you but they're not <laughs> Cause I was watching him and they were not getting around his ears and he was still flicking his ears. But that was after we got mauled by those 
spiders. I really want to know what those are called. I usually call them sand flies, or I, I used to call them black flies. I don't know what they're called, but biting flies. And I was sitting there itching my legs, and they weren't even on me, and like thinking that they're getting me. And Monty was doing the same thing. <laughs> Monty, you stop that. It's just a little beaver, Monty. Leave the beaver alone. I'm glad he doesn't do his like crazy bark for wildlife. He just like does his little like Where are you? What are you? What is that thing? At least that's what I picture him saying. Hey. Hey you. Hey, what is that? Hey. Turd nugget. That beaver. He's watching us. Monty upset him. He's got his eye on us. Monty, he doesn't like us. It's an angry beaver. All right, we're, we got about five, six hundred more yards to go till we're at camp, but we're just gonna troll the rest of the way there. If I pick something up, you know, I'll record it. Otherwise, I'm gonna get there, clean up camp, get things picked up, and we're gonna crawl in the tent and try to get ready for bed. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna get ready for bed, but I don't know if I'll be able to sleep right away. <laughs> That's the challenge for me. Beaver's watching us. <laughs> Monty, we're in the tent. We're going to bed. Monty's not fond of this yet. Monty, come here. Monty, come here. Lay down. Lay down. Yeah, lay down. Good boy. Oh, dear God. Yeah, it's bedtime now, buddy. Huh? Oh, yes, 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 yeah. Oh, you have this, he has the stinkiest breath. Monty, you just breath. You breath. Oh, it smells like dead fish. It smells like dead fish. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Anyways, um, you can see that it's beautiful right from in the tent. And uh, we got the rain fly flipped over. And I still got to kill off a few mosquitoes that are in here, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna relax. I'm gonna read a, a little bit of a bushcraft book, maybe look at the fishing regulations a little bit, and uh, do my best to pass out. So we're gonna get up bright and early. So I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. I know this camera won't pick up. Uh, the sights of them, but it will pick up the noises. And I know I'm out of focus, but listen to this. They are literally swarming. And if we were out there right now, we'd be getting mauled unless we had a fire. Makes you really appreciate being in the tent. <laughs> so I got up super early, but uh, these guys, I don't know if you can see in these mosquitoes, were just as bad as they were last night, so we slept for like another 45 minutes. Just let the wind pick up a little bit, and they've died down a bit, so... Now it's time to get up and get moving. <sighs> Monty. Monty. It's a new day. Oh yeah, give him that downward dog, Monty. Good job. Upward dog. 
Let's see. Do you want to get out of the tent and get bit by mosquitoes? Okay. Okay. It's finally a cold, a chilly enough morning where I can keep my long sleeves on, but the mosquitoes are out, so uh, I just got my rain jacket on right now, just a little bug protection. It's not like it's rain or anything, but they'll get me if I take it off, so I'm just leaving it on. But anyways, time to make up some oatmeal and pack up so we can get on the water pretty quick. Cue oatmeal coffee sequence. Soupy. Mosquitoes are out today. They are out. Hey, Monty. So, just gonna enjoy my oatmeal here, drink my coffee, pack up the boat, and make a nice poop. And then we're gonna get on that water and get to portage in. Mm. Let's run away. Run away. Run away from the evil mosquitoes. Oh, he's in your eye. Those dirty buggers, Monty. Oh, blood. Oh, they're getting us. Good job, Monty, we made it. Yep, the skeeters are out. Oh, there we go, there's a breeze. Now this can come off. Probably gotta keep it handy today, though. Oh, well, maybe it's a little too premature to take it off, but I'm warm now. The wind should pick up out in the lake here. As you can see, our shirt. Remember our brand new white tee? Remember how it was brand new? Well, it's a little grungy now. But I did wash it out yesterday. I rinsed it out so it looks gross, but it's actually quite clean. So, I'm feeling fresh right now. Fresh, energized, got an early start today. Not as early as I was going for, but man, when I saw that there was just as many mosquitoes and they sounded the same as last night, I was like, all right, we need to give it a little bit, let the wind, we needed some wind. And then once the wind picked up, they, they like halved half the amount of mosquitoes. But yeah, we were still getting, Monty was getting eaten up, that's for sure. He's pretty relieved to be at the boat right now, aren't you, Monty? Monty? Oh. Being smart today for the first time since we've started, I took my my lures off my rods because <laughs> they've been getting caught on all the trees on the portages, especially that thick one. Oh man, that thing grew that <laughs> that that accidental portage. Silly me, silly silly me. So we are looking at about 10 portages today. There's a couple half mile ones, a few quarter mile ones, and some in-betweeners. Got some teeny ones in there. You got some eighth mile size ones. Good range, nothing too insane though. Half mile ones, you know, meh, meh. But nothing, nothing bigger than that today. I think the biggest portage of the trip is not to like the last day. And that one's, I don't know, three quarters of a mile, or no, somewhere in there. More than a half mile, I don't know. It's more than a half mile, but I don't have any big large ones this trip. That 10 day solo trip, the second portage in was over a mile. That was a lot of fun. And that was in some hot heat as well. But this trip's been much warmer. But anyways, yeah, we've just got some paddling to do on this lake. And then we got a small portage to start out, and that's that's where we're at. So we got to get moving, and it's time to do a good old-fashioned portage day, portage moving groove day, and fight away the mosquitoes because they're going to be out with these clouds. 
which is fine. I'd, I'd rather deal with the mosquitoes while portaging than the, the nasty heat. So I'm, I'm very thankful that it's cloudy right now. Pretty happy about that. Yeah, we're gonna get bit by mosquitoes at the portages because they'll still be out, but I'll just move and groove, move and groove. Oh, hey, that one almost sounded like it did it back to me. It's okay, Monty. It's okay. There we go. That was a little baby bull moose. <laughs> he must, he's a pretty young guy. That was cool. He was swimming right in front of us. He swam to that shore and then he, you saw him get up and then we kept moving and he went back. Monty, Monty was only letting out a little. <laughs> Monty can't stand it. He's like, what is that thing? Oh, that's great though. See that, that right there. We slept in an extra 45 minutes or so, and we would not have seen that encounter. So everything works out. <laughs> Today's off to a good start. That was awesome. So, four moose for the trip. Two different, two different groups. Four moose. Pretty good so far, I'd say. That's pretty cool. Gotta love seeing moose like that. I've never seen moose swim before at this trip. I've never got the, actually no, on Isle Royal I did. Never mind. Never mind. I saw on Isle Royal, I had a bull, a mother, and two calves. That was pretty cool. Or maybe it was, a, no, it was a bull, a mother, and one calf. But so far, this is close to the most moose I've seen on a trip here. That's pretty cool. But gotta love seeing them swimming like that. You can tell sometimes they definitely feel a little vulnerable. That one did. Because, you know, I'm. It's like, what is that thing? He probably knows what humans are, but he definitely had little horn, but he wasn't a huge one. He was okay. But still a sweet sight. I love seeing moose. Love seeing wildlife. So as far as seeing moose goes, um, it obviously boils down to luck, but there are some things that you can do to increase your chances. Now, I've been pretty lucky, but <clears throat> I'll just go over a couple things that you can do if you're struggling to see moose in a wilderness setting where there are moose. I'll just give you the tips that I've personally just learned over just doing this. Um, so the main thing is be quiet. Now, I know I struggle with that one because I talk a lot, but I'm not constantly talking to the camera. Um, I'll like, if I have something to say, I'll talk, I'll say it, and then I'll be quiet for a good, you know, like five, 10 minutes or so or more and just kind of paddle and be silent. So I am silent, but not when I'm talking to the camera, but there's nothing I can do about that. So be quiet. And then mornings, mornings are so good. When you get up sunrise to, I don't know, for the first three hours, the moose are moving. And that is your absolute best bet, in my opinion, to see moose. Um, you know, 
go down river systems where it's where it's shallow rivers and whatnot where they have to cross or they come to drink. Bigger open water, you're only going to see them on the edges and stuff, so it's harder to catch them. But if you're going through a little river system, much better chances. I've seen them on cold days when it's really cold the night before, they'll go lay in the sun. That's for really cold weather. I've seen that definitely. And then also evenings, swampy areas around evening time. That helps, but if you're really looking for a moose, get up bright and early and move where there's channels and not long waterways for them to cross and you'll have a lot better chances. It, but it obviously comes down to luck. I've been very lucky. I'm not denying that, so. That's my two cents. You know, I'm sure there are a lot more tips out there, and I'm sure a lot of you know more than I do about it, but that's just my experience, what I've seen. I just wouldn't be myself if I didn't try a couple quick casts near where this river's pouring in. Oh, that beautiful, beautiful breeze. Glorious breeze. I love it. I don't care that we have to paddle under the wind. What it's gonna do is cool us down after every sweaty portage, and it's gonna be awesome. I welcome you, wind. I fully welcome you. Bring it on. Don't get too crazy on me, wind. Stay right where you're at, okay? Don't go too crazy. Do it. Got a cute little pike there. Cute little teeny pike. Mountain. in the woods and there's nobody around. Just you. <laughs> sure feels good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm going down the Phoebe River today. That's a good river system. It's a nice cloudy day so I do have a good chance for seeing moose a little later than normal. So I'm going to try to just cruise along and get there. And hopefully I'm the first one to go down it for the day. Chances are maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know what my chances are being the first one, but hopefully I am. And that would be great. And we'll, we might see some moose. Nice little river system. I'm excited. Could see more moose. Get an all-time trip record. Oh, and by the way, I apologize when I saw that moose of how shaky the camera was. <laughs> I wasn't very close to it. So I was zoomed in all the way and I, you know, with the wind blowing and I'm trying to like watch Monty and make sure he's not yelp, yelping and stuff. I was, I was shaking all over the place, so I'm sorry about that. I know I got a little bit of a steady shot, but I'm sure some of you are going to get a little motion sickness watching that clip.
Started sprinkling. Started sprinkling. Feels good though. I'm not gonna put rain gear on unless it's downpour or pretty heavy and sustained. But I've got all my rain gear near the top of my pack. Oh wow. Mosquitoes are all over me right now. Ah! Get out of here! Whew! Moving and grooving right now. That uh, breeze feels nice. We are gonna have a few mosquito bites after today. I'm getting at least, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 mosquito bites per portage. And I'm sure some of you are saying, why don't you use DEET? Use DEET. DEET. DEET it. DEET it up. Well, I have a brand new can of DEET with me. I just, I'm only going to use it if they're driving me insane. I'm not a huge fan of DEET. Just because it's not that it, I mean, it works great. Don't get me wrong if you just keep spraying it on, but... I only use D in my most dire situations when they are just like at their absolute worst and I cannot stand it because I don't know it just makes me feel sticky and just nasty and it's chemicals and I don't know I don't know I just don't like using it okay get off my back get off my back I prefer to just brush them off and wear long sleeves and bug nuts but right now they're like they're not terrible they're they're getting me because i am moving and cruising and i'm sweating so yeah they're gonna come find me and bite me but you know they're not if now if i were to be out last night when the sun set that is deet worthy but i wouldn't use it i'd just go in a tent i'm not gonna i can't enjoy a campfire if you're just sitting there to breathe in smoke and just you know sweat it's too warm for a fire for me. I like it cool for a fire. I want cool temperatures. Hey, it's me, the upside down portage man. <laughs> Whew. Monty's just like, Dad, we sure are moving fast today. Yep. Yep. We are in the groove today. Monty, we are in the zone. I wasn't in the zone as much yesterday. And I'm pretty sure it's just the heat. Like today, I am feeling like a million dollars. I am beasting these portages like nothing. And I mean, they're not, you know, yesterday they weren't very big. Like I think, I think most of them yesterday were even shorter than the one two portages ago. And you know, I'm just flying through them. I'm thinking it is the heat. The heat kills me, just sucks the life right out of me. I'm just trying to get, after this lake and the next portage is that river, I'm just trying to get there as fast as possible to have the best chance at moose sightings. But this looks like some beautiful structure for fishing. So, Tastes like I should fish. Yep, I think I need to cast. That's what it tastes like. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna cast a couple times, a couple times here and there. I'm not gonna go ham. Just a couple casts. Just a couple cute little casts in the wild. I just like the look of this area. It's like a little little channel, these little islands. There's gotta be a fish just living up in here. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not a bad cast. Come on, fish. Don't do me like this. I made a good cast near a nice log. And you're not gonna be there to bite it? Let's see if I can get a snag in these next couple trees. I'm thinking I can.
a bad one. I went right into that cedar. Look for some. So close. Hi, Monty. Are you enjoying life right now? That's a good boy. Wolf poop. Here comes the sun, do do do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's alright. Da 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 da. Just full of music today. It's starting to get warm. It's starting to get really warm. But I've got a good chunk of portaging done. I've only got two more bigger ones. And a couple small ones. A few small ones. Yep, a few small ones. This river is wider than I expected it to be. I guess it makes sense looking at the map, but it's a pretty wide one. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably some good fish in here. It's okay again. I know I can make it go right side up, but I don't want to. Well, a little series of unfortunate events just occurred and is continuing to occur. <sighs> I uh, did that last portage, which wasn't a huge one, but a portage and got my boat all ready and realized I don't have my tackle box. So I must have forgot it at the end of the last portage because I know I carried it. So I'm on my way back. So I had to redo this portage with all my gear. So I went back and put my boat in. I, I chose a different spot to put it, my boat in. Then I took it out and I slipped in my muck boots and fell in the water. So those fill up with water and then my boat filled up with water. Hey, Monty. Dad's a ding dong. Dad's a ding dong. So we're on our way back to get the tackle box. I ain't leaving anything behind. Especially that huge tackle box with all my tackle. And I mean, we're making great time. I was trying to avoid portaging in the heat, but sun's out, skies are clear. Starting to get to that part of the day and now I put myself a hair behind, so we're gonna have to portage in some heat, which is all right. I don't got crazy far to go. I'm gonna have a nice, long, relaxing day. I get to do some good swimming, some good fishing, and maybe we'll catch some walleye tonight. I think the reason I forgot it is because it rolled under the bottom of a pine tree in the shade, and it's camouflage. I could barely see it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's not here. What the heck? I was like, oh, it is right there. I roll under a tree because I, I carry my big orange bag, my mech slug, and uh, the tackle box. So what I did is I just threw off my bag and threw that down on the ground real quick and it just rolled under the tree. <sighs> I was like, I was so sure I left it there too. I was like, I just don't remember putting it in the boat now. But it was it was sneaky. It was hidden. Monty's just like, why are we just going back and forth? What's going on, Dad? Well, yeah, that's like the old, I don't know, that's like the third time I've ever left something at a portage in my whole time of camping. The first time uh, wasn't, I guess it wasn't my fault, it wasn't Funk's fault, it was our fault. The trash bag was left 
at a portage from the lake before for our trash. So I portaged, that was our 12 nights in the wilderness. I portaged back and grabbed it. And then on my 10 day solo, I left a spoon, a spoon fork, a light my fire spork thingy. I left one of those and I didn't realize I left it till so far away that I wasn't going back. And I don't even remember where I left it really. I don't know how it fell out. And then this. So I've pretty much only left behind one spoon forgotten. And I'm sure someone found that. It was like one of those titanium light my fire spork spoons. Someone found that was like, sweet, bonus. I guarantee you it was just sitting out in the open in the grass at the end of a portage. Because I just, I must have had it in a weird spot in my food bag that trip. Because I had my stuff set up differently. And I just opened a zipper and it kind of fell out. And I grabbed some beef jerky or something, didn't notice it. <laughs> Okay, moving forward with our lives and our day. Where do we gotta go? Oh, to the right. Okay. It's a fun little detour. I threw the stick for Monty just for just for one dunk. He's gonna do some more swimming later, but he was hot and panting. So I had to get it, let him get wet. And I can't just like throw him in the water, so I just throw the stick for him and he's, he's eager. Especially when he's hot. Hey, check it out. I just found a Leatherman wingman at this portage and it doesn't even look rusty or couldn't have been here too long. Looks brand new. Nice find, sweet. Going upstream. Oh, Monty. <laughs> Ooh, that breeze feels nice. Sure, feel nice. What is this thing, Monty? Never seen one of these before. What is this? It's a pile of sticks. Monty, why is there this random pile of sticks here? Huh, Monty? Huh? Weird. I don't know. I don't know who decided to put those sticks there. It sure seems like an odd spot for some sticks. Portage! Portage, portage, portage. Upside down. Upside down. So I passed some uh, people at the last portage and I asked them if they dropped their Leatherman. And at first they made it, they, they seemed like it might have actually been theirs. And they were all excited, but then they realized they still had it. So. Guess free Leatherman for me. It is mine now, guilt free. But that's cool. It, it, it's pretty cool if someone drops something though and you give it to them. I always like that. Giving them back their stuff. And then they're just like, yeah, I thought I lost it forever. I've done that with uh, so many different things. Whenever I find someone's cell phone, it might not be the, the everyone's favorite thing, but I usually go right into the phone and I look for mom or home or dad, and I try to call those right away. Or like sister, if you can if you can see those things, I'll call. And I've returned at least two cell phones doing that. I just found it, go through the phone, go right to mom, call her, text, say like, hey, I found this, meet you at Subway or something. Turn phones. And I mean, yeah, I'm going into their phone a little bit, but I don't wanna, I'm, I don't like to like leave it somewhere, you know, like, hey, can you make sure that this person gets it or blah, blah, it's like, eh, lost and found, screw that. I'll find mom or dad. So everybody put mom and dad in your phone just in case you drop it and I find it. Helps if it's unlocked too. 
<laughs> if it's locked, I would just be like, well, nothing I can do. Oh well. Hang on, Monty. Oops, sorry, Monty. I'm sorry, Monty. You almost went for a swim. Hey, you got your sea legs, Monty. Good job. I was just testing you, Monty. I was just testing you. That's all. Seeing how you do in a stressful situation. That's really what that was. I wasn't I wasn't just carelessly pulling him over the beaver dam. That's not what that was. Not at all. No. I refuse to accept that. Oh, weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> I don't know why I'm busting into Christmas songs too early. <laughs> uh, Christmas songs, they're evil. Look, it's stuck in your head. That was a little breezy. All right, I ate a little beef jerky and gave some to Monty and ate some nuts, some almonds, those uh, habanero BBQ, bold flavor. So I got a little energy now I need to hydrate and then we're gonna take care of our final porridge for the day. Oh yeah. We're gonna get a nice campsite in the wind probably. All right, I'm blowing around too much. I'm gonna hydrate quick and we're gonna get this portage done. Whoo! That was the icing on the cake. That one was uh, just a steady incline. It wasn't like steep or crazy, but for the whole half mile, it was just incline. Those are some of my least favorites, just going up the whole time. Makes it so much harder. But anyways, it's in the past. I'm pretty sure, do I got my, I got my tackle box. I got all my stuff. Okay, it's in the past. Whew. So now we just go down a river. It connects to a lake. Then it goes to another river that connects to an even bigger lake. And we pick whatever campsite we want whatever we find along the way. And now it is 3.30, 2.30 local time. So I've got plenty of time to find a site, set up, swim, and fish. So now that all the work is done, I'm just gonna enjoy the paddle and the breeze, and let's relax. Let's have some fun. <laughs> no, we're having fun the whole time. The work makes it worth it. I refuse to get out of my boat for this section. I will find a path through the maze. The path, the path was easier than it seemed. <laughs> it was right here the whole time. sunk a little bit. All right, let's go, Monty. Time for you to cool off. You need to cool it, mister. Come on, buddy. That's a good boy. Monty's actually a beaver. An oversized beaver with a skinny, long face. And his oversized ears. And his colors are off a little bit, but he's actually a beaver. Don't let him fool ya. 
Bunty, come here. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Let's go. It's your new trick, huh? All right, can you sit? Can you sit down? Oh, you know that one too, hey? Good boy. Did you cool off? You look a little muddier. You look a little muddier. Yeah, that's a good boy. The Monty needed a cooling. He's cool off now. Well, let's see if I can do this without getting out. Might be a little tough. was in the wrong spot. Oopsie. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, there we go. Whew. I didn't see that one. choke point. I was really keen on not getting out of the boat. It's probably good fishing right there until I, you know, dinged it. But it's a nice little choke point. One other little choke point. Monty, your shifting is unappreciated. Unappreciated. I think we're on the lake now. Let's see if it's a worthy campsite. This lake looks like it'll be great for spotting moose in the morning, but I mean, it's like a two or three feet deep and it's just mucky. And I'm definitely not gonna catch fish here. So I don't feel like uh, swimming in this muck nasty. So we're gonna probably move on to the next lake. There is a really nice campsite, I think, on this one just by where it's, what shore it's on with the wind blowing. But I want a nice swimming spot as well, so not gonna be this one. The next lake's got a few choices. We'll check it out. So, uh, I don't have any luck really. I don't know if I'm gonna be going out in this wind. I mean, we'll, if it dies down a little bit, we'll go trolling and stuff tonight and catch him. But if it's this windy, I'm probably not gonna fish. And we will move our fish dinner to the next night. campsite's a little difficult to access. Well, this seems pretty ideal to me. I mean, it's still got a little bit of a breeze, very shaded, and it's up from the lake, and that wind is just blasting through the trees, so 
This is the spot. Right, Monty? Are you searching for food scraps, you little stinker? All right, we need to hydrate. I need to filter some water and get him some food, and I need to snack, and we're going to chill out. I need to air some stuff out, and then I might swim. Ooh-wee. Hey, Monty, come here. Oh. So, I'm just filtering water. I just chugged half a big Nalgene. And I'm just going to set up the tent as I'm filtering water. And then I think I'm going to take a dip in the lake. Now, one unfortunate thing about this campsite is that it's, it's in the wind. It's breezy, but the mosquitoes are just eating us alive still. They're getting us. So, tonight's going to be rough. Or if the wind goes away. I'm going to have to wash Monty off. He's got blood on his face from mosquitoes, and he's all full of mud. He's going to have to get a little bit of a bath. But these mosquitoes are getting us. They're getting us. Oh, oh, oh. Ready? Go get him, Monty. Go get him, Monty. Go get him, Monty. Go get him, Monty. Go get him. Good boy. There, Monty. Good boy. I gotta trick him with the stick so that I can bait him. Alright, now I gotta bathe you. Right, come forward. Okay. Oh. All right, go get it. Go get your stick, Monty. Don't worry about me. Hi, Monty. Hi, Monty. Mama, mama. Mama, mama. Where's your stick? Let's go get it. Come on, Monty. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got the stick. Monty, don't go to that side. Oh, Monty. You're going to be in trouble. Oh. Monty. Oh, this feels great. Once again, you stay safe on those rocks, mister. I don't like to do it. But a couple, but um, I have fake, you know, drowned before, and Monty will come out and let you grab on, and he'll drag you in. But I don't like to pretend, because it's mean. But I kind of almost want to do it just to show you guys. Monty. Oh, I don't know if I should. It's mean. All right, we have to show him, Monty. Monty, Monty, save me. Monty, save me. Save me. Oh, save me. Oh. I'm barely kicking my feet. He would pull me all the way into shore, but I don't want to. Okay. 
That was a good enough example. He'll, uh, he's a true lassie dog. Thank you, Monty, you saved me. Good boy, Monty. Good boy. I hate doing it. Probably won't do it again. But that was just an example of him doing that thing. He's always done that, and he's let us just drag on him. There you go, Monty, get on the camera. But I think that's pretty sweet. I mean, if I just were to hang on, he'd have a lot of trouble, but he'd still do it. You have to kick your feet a little bit. You have to give him some help. But Monty, you just saved me. You saved my life. I was drowning. Good boy. I'm gonna give you beef jerky for that. Stay there. Stay there. I'm just gonna take a little swim, okay? Don't worry about me. I'm just swimming a little bit, okay? You stay there. No, 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 no. Stay. It's okay. It's okay. Monty, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just swimming, Monty. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I can't do any overhand stroke. Stay there. It's okay. Good boy. I'm just going to tread water, I guess. <laughs> oh, good boy, Monty. Hey, no, no. I'm, I'm just swimming. <laughs> Fine, that's just doggy paddle, I guess. Apparently, Monty doesn't like when you uh, overhand stroke after fake drowning for an instructional video to show him what he does. I'm sorry, Monty. I guess I'll just doggy paddle every time you're out here. You're getting really upset. He's just like, yeah, I don't want to have to go out there again. I'm done with it. Oh. It feels so good. I do not want to get out of the water. Oh. I hope the wind dies down. I'd love to go for a fish dinner. That'd be sweet. I think we still might. I don't know what time it is. But who knows? We won't be able to tell. It's already calmed down a little bit. We'll give it an hour and then we uh, maybe we'll just go out here and troll around and cast for fun. I'm just uh you know, I just bathed, I just relaxed around, looked over my maps, drank some water, ate a little snack bar, but uh, it's about 6.30 now, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit, and then we're going to get out in that water, and the plan is going to be to get up early tomorrow, just like today, because we got another nice day of portage in tomorrow, and uh, if I don't catch two or three walleye, by like 8 or 8.30 then I'm probably going to be done fishing for the night, come back, cook dinner, get ready for bed. And that is the plan currently. So I'm just going to pick up and then we're going to get in the boat and do some fishing in the wind. Come on. It's okay. Come on. You can trust Dad. You can trust Dad. You can kind of trust Dad. Okay, well I just found some, some, uh, whoops, forceps, or whatever, at that, that, uh, campsite where you put the boat up. And I'm gonna try the, uh, this one's a little deep diver, a little bit more of a deep diver, and I don't know how deep this lake is, it doesn't seem like it's very deep according to the map, but I'm gonna try, I'm not gonna go super far behind. But I don't feel like casting and battling the wind, so we're just gonna troll. Monty, you're gonna sit down. Sheesh. I think I might actually have a fish on it. Yeah. 
think I do. Well, I hope it's a walleye. It's pulling pretty good, which leads me to think it's a pike, but it could be a decent sized walleye. I was just kind of going over the middle. Oh, it's, it's tugging. I think it might be a pike. Just the way it's fighting. Oh, it's, it's giving some fight. I don't know though. It's hard to tell when you got your line out a decent ways. Oh, it's a pike. It's a healthy pike. See, that'd be a good eater if we we're going for pike. But like I said, I want a walleye fish dinner. I don't want pike. We've eaten pike, we've eaten pike, not eaten. All right, there we go. Pregnant guy, but yeah, if we were eating pike, this would be a delicious, delicious sack of meat. But we're not eating them, we're letting them go. Yeah, I might fish a little extra, I'm not really sure. It depends if they're biting, but now that I'm looking at the map, the best shore for these walleye is that southern shore and I'll be able to blow back to camp, so I might fish there, which means I will fish later than anticipated. We'll see. I've got two and a half hours. I can cover some ground on that till dark, but I don't really want to be eating fish, you know, flaying up fish and stuff when the mosquitoes come out and it's all nasty. I'm not too fond of, you know, getting mauled. Picked up another pike. There he goes. Well, so far, me and Monty could have feasted on pike, and that would have been delicious, don't get me wrong, but we're after Walter the walleye. Monty. <gasps> oh, that's the worst when he just, just lays down. Bam! by mosquitoes, Monty. Appreciate it. Now he's sleeping. Now he's laying down to sleep, but I can pretty much eat fish every night. I couldn't eat it if it's lemony, juicy, like that's something I like every few nights, but the way I like fish every night is if it's like fire roasted and it's a little bit on the drier side, I could just, that or deep fried, I could just keep eating and I will never stop. But. We're after Walter the walleye and his brother Willie. And yes, I name all my fish, okay? So I think we're gonna end up uh, trolling the entire shoreline, <laughs> regardless if we catch a fish dinner or not, just because I'm already like almost halfway done trolling the shoreline, I think. And then I've been blowing into the wind the whole time, so once I hit the southern end, there won't be any wind, and then if I when I get to the corner over there, I'll be blowing with the wind the whole way back, so there's no point trolling the entire shoreline. Walter! Hey Walter! Walter, where you at? Walter, you're being silly. Walter, don't be silly. Come on, 
come on home for supper. Come on, bring your brother William. Don't forget him. No more Peters. We don't want any more Peters. I'm sick of Peters. It just got so quiet still. We gotta get a fish soon. It's meant to be. We just got a snag. Starting to think that some of these uh, contour lines for depth aren't so accurate. They're good for the most part, but they've tricked me a few times. And this was one of them. I don't know if you can see that already, but it's just tons of rocks. I like the look of it. So we're gonna try looping around so I can get my lure near it. So much for feeling good. Got a snag right away. Not even close to the rocks. I'm gonna switch to my good old fashioned walleye lure because uh, yeah this is uh, getting snagged too often in all the good spots. Alright let's try it again. Let's try again. Good old chartreuse. I got a snag and I'm going back but those clouds don't look too friendly. This kind of looks I don't know. I don't know. I hope it's not unfriendly. One rumble of thunder and I'm hightailing it. Back to camp. It's all misty looking in the sky. I bet the mosquitoes are just starting to get nasty. But it's 820 now and we haven't caught a single walleye. And I'm, don't, I'm not thinking that we're going to catch walleye tonight. So we're just going to have a portion and a half of spaghetti. Still delicious. And I'm still excited about it. Monty, you look like a hot mess. I think we got a fish. Oh yeah. Probably another pike, but there's hope. Right, Monty? Oh, Monty. Don't get frisky on me. Oh, yeah. Come on, Monty, sit down. It's feeling hefty, so I'm thinking this is another pike. In my experience, when you're trolling and something's fighting back, when your line's way out, it's usually a pike. This thing is feeling frisky, so it's probably another Peter. It'd have to be a pretty big walleye, or hooked funny, to be pulling like this. Oh no, it's a walleye. Okay, we may be having fish dinner after all. <laughs> oh, tonight might turn out to be later than expected. We got Walter, now we need William. All right guys, there we go. It's a nice, nice little walleye there. All right, let's get another one. I'll we'll put this guy on the stringer and we're gonna keep fishing. Isn't it kind of funny how I'm just like, yeah, we're probably not having fish dinner tonight. We're not having fish dinner. We're having fish dinner tonight. <laughs> uh, now we're in a little bit of a pickle, if you will. I hear thunder rumbling from those death clouds. Oh, shoot. Um, oh no. Did I just get a snag too? Well, so, 
<sighs> yeah, that's not good. I guess we're just snacking on this one fish tonight. <laughs> we'll make it a Monty treat. Dang it. <laughs> Unless we catch him on the way back. I we're definitely in for some thunderstorms tonight. <laughs> The, the rumbles are getting louder, so as soon as I get back to camp, I am going to do a little racing around. I'm going to uh, hurry up, get my boat all secured, get uh, everything prepared for a thunderstorm, and I'm going to play this fish instantly, and I'm going to start cooking quick, but if it starts to rain, I'm just going to, I'm going to use my stove anyways, I'm not having a fire. So I'm just gonna cook it under my vegetable, but I'm gonna try to cook it outside of it until the rain starts. Oh. Am I just snagging rocks again? It looks like we're gonna be cooking under the vegetable. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, this is fun. Fun how things go, a lot of fun. You're doing one thing, then you're sure you're doing another, then you're doing another, and then you're sure you're doing one thing, and then this happens, and that happens, and... But don't worry, Monty, I'll get you home safe. Oh, and that's... that looks like a fish. That is a fish. That's a decent fish. We could be having... <laughs> it might be going back to fish dinner. <laughs> fish dinner under the vegetable, possibly. If it's a, uh, if it's a walleye, we're just gonna continue trolling back and we're good. You know, maybe if it's a pike too, we'll just keep it and eat it, just to have fish dinner. Cause we already got one fish. Why, uh, why dink around, hey? Feels decent, though. I hope it's another walleye. Come on. Come on, William. Feels hefty. Feels heftier than the last one, whatever it is. And it's not yanking like a pike. Oh, it is a pike. We're just gonna have fish dinner. We're having fish dinner. Pike and walleye. No, I can't decide. It's a tough choice. No, why is it making me decide like this? I can't decide. No, we're not doing fish dinner. We're just gonna have the walleye. Decision is final. We're after a walleye fish dinner, and I'm sticking to my guns. The, the hardest thing for me is to not keep fishing when I know the fishing is good and the walleye are biting, and it's nine o'clock, eight local time, and the sun's gonna be out for another 45 minutes, and the the walleye fishing is going to be epic for the next hour. This is the part where I struggle. But that, I mean, you can see that. You can see it with your eyes and we can hear it. Every once in a while we can hear it. But I really, really, really want to go down that channel. Because I know I could pick up another walleye if I just fish for a little longer and we could have fish and dinner, and it wouldn't just be a snack. Why? It's such a tough choice. I just rechanged my mind. I saw, like, a huge bolt of lightning. I'm not hearing thunder, but there is definite lightning. That is a definite big storm coming. I would have went and made one pass on the channel, but I saw lightning. And as a responsible individual for my dog, 
only for his sake. I can't, I can't go because I, my camp's right over here. And I need to get prepared. Should be a fun storm though. I'm camped like near the tallest tree in the area, which is great, just perfect. Oh, that's actually sucky. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm camped near a really tall tree. I mean, look at that. I'm camped right next to that tree. And that's like the tallest tree for ways. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. Oh no. Oh no. It got stuck and snapped. Oh, that looks so sketchy. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Screw my lure. <laughs> oh, I didn't look back at that for a second. I mean, look at that. All right. It's go time. Oh, that is nasty. Oh man, that looks nasty. As you can see, there's, look at that line, that line of death. That looks like a nasty storm system coming in. So, ooh, oh, that's not good. And I'm next to a big tree. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna race, get everything set up, play up our fish, and we are gonna go sit in the tent and cook dinner. I am not messing around with that. Um, I'm already risking it by being out in the water. I don't like that I'm camped next to a big tree, so if this is, if I die, I don't have anywhere to go. I cannot move now or anything because I'm already set up and that storm is coming, so I'm racing, okay? Racing to get ready. Wish me luck. That is, it is coming on us so fast. I'm not gonna mess around with filleting this fish. I'm gonna have to let this thing go. This thing is, it's alive and well. I don't wanna have to do this, but I'm not gonna mess around with getting struck by lightning and stuff over a fish, so he's going by. This is crazy, the wind is so strong right now. Man, for a second it was super bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kinda sit out here for a minute. See if we can see another little struck of lightning. But, once I see the rain coming across the lake, I'm done. And it's starting to look like a little bit, but everything is set up. I am ready to just flee into the tent. was a good strike. Monty, is this crazy right now? What do you think about this, Monty? Oh, you're just gonna lay down right there? Okay. All right. Look, Monty. Look at this dog right now, look at him. Monty. Monty, what is this right now? All right, well, I got the vestibule open, but I am seeing lightning all over the place. I don't want to be standing up. I would love to sit out there and just watch the storm, but it's coming. I got the vestibule. I got the vestibule open um, so that I can cook here for a minute. But my tent is a mess right now. But I'm I'm not messing around with that stuff. So I've got to clean up a little bit, and I'm gonna start cooking my spaghetti here. 
so you're gonna hear the wind howling in the, the background here. Yeah, the lightning is, is coming. I gotta be ready to close this thing up. Which, which will only take a second. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna, you know what's smart to do when you're in uh, a stormy situation is to insulate yourself from the ground in case lightning were to strike this tree, uh, surges can go through the ground and whatnot. I'm gonna actually blow this up. Oh man, oh, it's getting crazy out there. I'm actually gonna blow this up quick and sit on this as I'm cooking. So me and him are both insulated from the ground in case lightning does strike coast. Cause this is going all over and this tree is really tall. I've mentioned that like 20 times now, but. And while this may not be the end all be all best thing you could do in the world, which would probably be just, yeah. It's better than nothing. Look at this Monty here. I wonder if he'll take a, oh, look at that. Look at that response time. Here, slobber up the, mm. Good. You're a good boy today. You sure were. I got a, I got a mess. I'm dealing with a mess here, guys. Is the rain beginning? Oh, the rain's beginning. Now I'm leaving the vegetable open. It's, I'm gonna leave it cracked while I'm cooking because um, you know, you're burning, burning off fuel and stuff. I don't think it'll kill me either way because there's so much airflow going around underneath the vegetable. I'm still gonna leave it cracked just to be safe. And I'm gonna keep killing these mosquitoes. It's about to start raining, Monty. It's probably gonna rain pretty good. We got mosquitoes in here to deal with. That's one thing I like, I like about having a tent is the mosquitoes, they get trapped in here, they have nowhere to go. And you can just get them. It's not gonna rain on us as hard here because the uh, the tree, that big tree is near us. I hope this isn't the end of us, Monty. I always say when I'm camping, I don't like just sunny, beautiful days the whole time. I honestly love getting a little weather like this. Storms make me so happy. They really do. I love them. Like this is great. Having to hunker down, like racing, like it's just exhilarating, you know? I love it. I love it. Even though I'm like cluster brain right now, I'm not, I'm not sure what what to grab and what to do. I'm just like, oh gosh. I'm just still thinking about the storm. I'm not even sure what pan to use. We're gonna have a big old, big old portion of skinny as this storm rumbles on. Maybe I should turn off the lights and then you guys can see the lightning better. I don't, I don't know if that's picking it up at all because I'm not paying attention to the... We're getting real personal in the tent tonight, guys. Real personal. Let's 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 go over some scary stories, shall we? <laughs> oh, the lightning—it's so frightening. All right, here we go. This 
start my food up. And I've got extra food. I've got four portions of spaghetti and three nights. So what that means is I'm gonna have a portion and a half tonight. And I'll still have enough spaghetti for tomorrow night and the next night in case I don't catch a fish dinner. Which actually, the uh, the lightning and thunder might might affect that. I am gonna move pretty, ooh, that was a big one. That's gonna be a crack of thunder right here. You ready for this? Dinners are cooking. Oh, I'm getting water everywhere. I'm not even gonna worry about cleaning up until after dinner and I'm all ready for bed. We're just gonna enjoy the storm right now. Put on some socks. Look at that dog though. I, you, I know you can't see him, his face very well. Yeah, it's a mess in here. This is gonna be a really long part, by the way. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, you know, on night five, bam. Oh. That was a good rumble of thunder. But do say so myself. I'm surprised it's not downpouring. You know, it's it feels like a light rain. I actually you know what we are under that tree. I keep forgetting that. Right under that tree. And it could be a lot heavier out there. It's just but we're just, you know, under that tree, so it's protecting us a little bit. I'm, I need to pick up a little bit. <laughs> it's driving me nuts, it's just so cluttered right now. Funk would, would never think she would hear me say that. <laughs> but I just did. Don't worry about it, I'm just, I'm just making it so it's, I'm just making it so it's better looking in here. Oh, much better. Okay. Oh yeah. So, whew, feels good to lay down. This is a good time for me to tell you guys, those of you that are not following my Instagram, uh, if you're interested in that, I, I put some okay pictures on there. I mean, I'm still learning the photography thing, blah, 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 but I've started to get more active on my, uh, my story. Just random crap at home with the dogs and stuff. I think I'm going to keep that up. I have fun putting stuff on there, just, and when I'm going out on my trips like this, you know, I made little tidbits along the way, and pre-getting ready, so, you know, just a little extra. If you're, if you're interested in that, I would recommend following me on my Instagram. I don't have any epic, two epic photos, but I'll get there one day. These mosquitoes are in here. I can't tell if this, if this, I think it's past. The, the rain's really light. Yeah. It's kind of passing now. Whoa. 
just relaxing. Yeah, it's it's passing us now. There's nothing like a true, just a, a mother nature event to get your ass in gear and just get you moving. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Like, it, it was really, it was exhilarating, you know, seeing that and then like, you know, here, when I was on the lake and I was fishing still, you know, I saw the, the clouds moving and I was like, you know, that does, that, when I see that, you know, it looks like it's going to be rainy. And then it started to get a little darker. And then it started to get darker. And I was like, okay, that's starting to look uh, definitely rainy. And then you hear the little rumble of thunder. I'm like, all right, you know, now I got to get heading back. And then blah, 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 blah. And I'm open around. I'm like, oh, I should still fish, fish. And then all of a sudden, I see a bolt of lightning. And that's when I knew, like, okay, I got to get back. And in the time when you, you see that bolt of lightning, that storm comes on you so fast it was it was just like I mean the the actual lightning and rain and stuff wasn't here right away but it just comes on you so fast like it was it was just the lightning and then all of a sudden that line as soon as I got back to where I was put in the boat it was just above us and like the winds instantly started picking up right when I let the fish go and like it was just a mad dash and that is just it's awesome. You got to respect storms. I was definitely not respecting the storm at first. Like that was stupid of me, but I'm fine and I'm we're okay for now. Shit could still happen, but it's definitely going on still. I think this is going to be a big system because it's been so hot. It's been 80s, 85 every day, and you know I've, you could you saw me sweating and stuff, and now it's got to be a low pressure system moving in and this is just a nasty storm so that could that w what that could mean for tomorrow is that it's it could cool off or it could be a day of rain or it could be um, really windy all day it's, it's probably one of those things but we could be getting into colder period which is nice I'm, I don't mind that but the rains definitely gonna help the mosquitoes out a little bit <laughs> okay just to show you guys um, how I'm cooking my spaghetti and my vegetable. I've got it cracked for some air, and then I've got my wind blocker right there, and it's cooking. Now, it, it looks a lot closer than it is to the, uh, what's it called? The vegetable tarp, the rain fly. It, when that's off, the flame is actually able to go up, and it's not going to burn that. It, it, it is close, and it's, it's not the best thing to do, but it's not going to burn it. And I'm going to put it out as soon as it's done. And I've got my crazy creek over here kind of propping the whole thing out. Making it a little further out. But my spaghetti is a-boiling. And I'm going to give it another minute here or two. And then I'm going to put the pot lid on it. And we are going to be sitting waiting for food. I guess I'm going to get the small sleeping pad tonight. Monty deserves the extra large one. Right, Monty? You got some sap in your hair. Sorry. Oh. Well, you know, since we're awake, we're waiting for food, I'm just gonna talk about random stuff that I haven't really brought up yet this trip. So how am I recording all this footage out in the wilderness? Well, that comes down to a whole bunch of batteries. I got tons of batteries. And to recharge those batteries, I've got power packs and I've got a solar panel. Now, um, the solar panel is much more reliable, but it, it, it doesn't always work that great. For example, yesterday uh, I had some direct sunlight, and I just before I went fish, or I had three hours of sunlight, and uh, I put out the solar panels to charge up four GoPro batteries using two of these things, um, four batteries for one solar panel. It ch in in three hours of direct hot sun, I couldn't even touch a solar panel; it was so hot it burned. It charged up one to 81 percent, one to 74 percent, one to 30 percent, one to 18 percent, which I didn't understand. Like, I guess it must have put power in one or the other. 
but then I used a little power bank here and I used two of them and it charged up both all batteries to full in like an hour and a half to two hours now I always like using these uh, more than the solar panel but I have had these fail I've had these I brought it out um, on my 10-day trip I think that's, that's the time I was saving I was I was holding off on using it because I was like, oh, I got that thing, you know, I'm going to try to do solar power as long as I can, and then I went to use that and it failed. But right now, these cheap little things, I'm going to actually plug in and charge up some batteries here. Oh, Monty, it's just thunder. I hope you're not having a nightmare. Oh, poor guy. Oh, he was dreaming. That must have been a nightmare. Oh, were the bugs getting you? Oh, oh you poor thing. You want some food? You hungry? I'll give you some food. You know, you're a silly dog. I'm a silly human. We make a good pair. Out here, he eats a little extra. He doesn't eat breakfast ever. He has not eaten breakfast once this whole trip. He refuses. It drives me nuts. I try like three times, and then I'll offer it to him on the way, and he doesn't. He like just eats grass and crap. Now let's check on my spaghetti. Monty's done eating. Matthew's turn. I'm excited for this. Oh, I made too much food. I can already feel it. Time for a food coma. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I can just feel this. Let's just, let's just get over here. Oh no! I just spilled juices. Alright. Oh, that's gonna be so good. It's gotta cool down. But Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. Lick that up. Clean that. Look at this boy. Look at his face. Look at his overbite. Look at that overbite. That's just an epic shot of his overbite. Look at that thing. He's like a beaver almost. Yeah, oh Monty, look at you, look at you, You're a, he's a bunny, he's a bunny, oh he just sighed, he's a fluffy bunny, <laughs> wait, Monty, give him the face, yeah, here we go, there's the Monty face, <laughs> alright Monty, I'm sorry, I'll stop messing with you. Yeah, I'll stop messing with you. Oh, there's a good boy. There's a, oh, don't lick my ears. You, your breath stinks. His breath really stinks. There's a good boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 Now you're gonna take a bowl of sleeping pads, huh? 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 You little monster? What a monster. I have no room now. I have no room. This is not fair. All right, I have to take a bite of this. I have to, I have to burn my, I have to burn my mouth at least once before I, I just let it cool. I need to amp myself up, you know? And you guys just need a little Monty face in your way. Oh, it's hot. Yep. It needs to cool. Ah. I knew that was coming. Oh, it's burning on the way down. Ah. Maybe I'm gonna make this own video. It's called Tent Time. 
No, I won't do that, but I've been reading my way partially through this bushcraft book here. It's uh, Bushcraft Outdoor Skills and Wilderness Survival by Morris Kachansky. Kachansky. No bugs? Okay. Take a bite off the cold top quick. Mm. Oh yeah. And I'll stir it. It'll probably be too hot again. Oops. This is too much food. But I will probably eat all this. And then I won't be able to stay awake much longer. Which is a good thing. You got your sunny and hot days. You got your sunny and hot days. You got your sunny and hot days. You get your sunny and hot days. And then you get a thunderstorm day and a rain day. Alright. I know this section's gone on long enough. I'm just going to eat my food. And then we'll check in with you. Mm. Time to do dishes. Monty. What? How am I doing my dishes with both my hands free? Magic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't kidding when I said I was going to give Monty the bigger sleeping pad. It's all him. He's earned it. He's been a good boy. Good job, Monty. You stole Dad's sleeping pad. But anyways, guys, I am stuffed. I am tired, and I'm going to get up early tomorrow. So it was a good day today. Saw a moose. Did some portage and some fishing, and got a thunderstorm to end it all. So, on that note, I'm headed to bed. I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody.